Hi, chemistry students. Uh, in lab and for class, we often will use a program called Spartan. Now, I have the full version of Spartan here. You'll be using Spartan Student Edition. Almost everything's the same, but I'd like to just show you then uh, how to use it real quickly and how to set up a, a quick computation, uh, things that you might do for a lab to gather some theoretical data to compare to your experimental data. So the first thing you do is you, when you open up Spartans, you're going to get this uh, a green interface page here, and you're going to want to build a new molecule to do your calculation on. So if you just go, just go click on the new tab over here, up comes over on the right this builder, and you can build organic, inorganic, all kinds of different molecules. I'll show you how to build two right now, and then we'll run a calculation and see what the properties are. So to to build something with this organic. Um, uh, kit right here. I'll, I'll make ammonia. So if I go to ammonia, I click right here on the N because it's NH3. That's a nitrogen with, you can see three little bonds there if you look closely. So if you click on that, it'll put up some sort of nitrogen there and nothing attached to it. So you can attach anything you want. You can attach hydrogens or fluorines or chlorines. They're all single bonds over here, so you just want to be as careful as you can on that. However, if it's hydrogen that you want, you don't have to add anything. So if you go over here, right now you're in the plus, that's the making the model. Here would be visualization. This is where you can view your model. And if it's just hydrogen and you click on it, then voila, you'll get a molecule. Now you can make that molecule bigger by scrolling. All right, so you can make a much bigger uh, ammonia right there. And you can rotate it around by using your right cursor and your left cursor. Your left cursor will let you move it um, side to side. That's a translation. Here's a rotation, and you can look at it in lots of different ways then. And like I said, scrolling will let you make it larger or smaller. Let's go ahead and do a calculation on this. So if you go, there's going to be a setup on, the, on here. You can click on the setup, and you can do a calculation. And whenever we do a calculation, we're always going to be trying to do an equilibrium geometry or possibly a transition state and some of these other things. Uh, not all of them are listed in yours. There's an energy. You don't want to do that one too often, but equilibrium geometry is the normal one. Uh, just so you know, this one will calculate what it thinks the best geometry is uh, to get the lowest energy. And we'll be doing ground states. And from there, we have to choose two things. Uh, a theory, how to do the calculation, and then what kind of orbitals we're going to be using. This is called a basis set. And this is people's pre-built orbitals that they've made and put into the computer program. So we're going to choose to do what's called density functionality theory. Now for you, it's going to come up just as an option to do Becky 3LIP, B3LYP. And then we're going to do the 6-31G star. That's the type of orbital we're going to be using. So yours will be slightly different. You won't have this option. When you hit the theory, you'll only have this B3LIP and a few others show, uh, show up for your options. And then here's a 6-31G star. Um, that's the basis set. Once again, that's the orbitals. There are others, lots of others in mine. Yours goes all the way up to this, this 6-311 plus plus G star star, I believe. It might be this one that it ends with. So from there, um, we get ready to do our calculation. And we just hit Submit. And it will ask us for a file name. And so I will just put in here a file name. It's ammonia. It knows what this molecule is. And I will hit Save and it will now start the calculation. It tells me that it started. And momentarily, maybe another 10 seconds, uh, this calculation will end and it will tell me. There it is. Now that it's done that, it has calculated um, the best geometry for it to make this particular molecule the lowest energy. We can do a couple things right off the bat with this result. We can go here to this question mark with the two things on it, and we can find bond lengths. So the bond length between this nitrogen and the hydrogen is listed down here as 1.019, 1.019. We can do the same thing for these two, and it's also 1.019, no surprise there. And these two, 1.019. We would expect that because there's a definite symmetry to this molecule if you take a look at it. All right. Well, that's not all we can do. We can also look at bond angles. To do a bond angle, we'd click on any three with the central atom being where we want to go through. I look at those three in that order, and the angle's 105.76. Not quite what the experiment is, but pretty darn close. So you should look up maybe and compare 105.76 to the uh, experimental data that people have. 
All right, so that's the kind of thing we can look at just off the bat and get answers right here. But there's more that we can do here. I can, uh, I can undo this, just go back to my view here. I can go to display and I can display properties. And your properties will look very similar to this. And here you can see that I have gotten the formula. That it gives us an energy in atomic units which can be converted to our traditional kilocalories per mole or kilojoules per mole. It also tells us the energy of the highest occupied molecular orbital. Uh, it gives us a dipole moment. It allows us to view the dipole moment. So here I'm going to go right here and make this smaller. You can see the entire dipole moment. It shows you that there's a dipole in this molecule. And uh, that means it's a polar molecule. It's very polar, as a matter of fact. And that the the end up here where the arrow is, this region would be negative, and this region down here would be positive. All right, you can move that around and kind of get a visualization of where the dipole is. So that's how we get some of this information. There's lots of other things you can get um, that are listed on these uh, in this area right here. Um, if I had done more calculations, I could have gotten some thermodynamic information. Um, Here's some things that are listed in yours. There's volumes and surface areas and polar surface areas. Yours is slightly different, but you go to the molecular properties tab to find these things. So for now, that shows you how to use uh, a simple, to do a simple molecule. I'll show you how to build one more molecule real quickly, and then you'll be able to uh, do most of the stuff in Spartan for the semester without looking too far uh, to find more. There is an option in yours to go over to the far right and there'll be a thing that says activities and tutorials kind of like this right here. You can go, I, I highly recommend if you like Spartan that you go and check that out and um, look at the tutorials because they're very helpful. So let's go ahead and build another molecule. I'm going to hit new but I'm not going to get rid of this guy and uh, uh, what, what should happen on yours is you'll, you'll get a new tab at the bottom. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now is I'm going to go over to this organic, inorganic tab and I'm going to make just another molecule, something a little more complicated, um, but, but still fairly easy to, to see. I'm just going to put uh, some iron in here. And as you see, I've got iron, but I made, it, 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 I look over here and it's just got a single bond. And so I could have chosen it to be any kind of bond. I could have chosen this for my iron as well. Um, I don't recommend we do it that, that way. So with the iron, with this kind of kit here, you can build all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to build an SF6 by going to my sulfur, which is over here on my periodic table. You couldn't see that. I click in the middle, rotate it around a bit, and I go over now to grab fluorine off the periodic table. And voila, I can add my fluorines, and I could do an SF6 molecule pretty darn quickly. Uh, if, one last thing before I end this video, we're not going to do a calculation with this one, but that little red tab there, that's only there because that's the last thing that I added. If I go to the view, it will go away as will my model kit, and now I can sub submit my calculations with ease. There you go, a little help on getting started with Spartan.